Using the Pathfinder tool in Illustrator works very well. It's something that I use all the time. But something I found that people don't know much about is the Shape Builder tool. And the Shape Builder tool looks like this snowman on its side here. Shift M is the shortcut. And the Shape Builder tool does a lot of similar things as the Pathfinder panel does, but there's also some things that the Shape Builder tool does that would be difficult to do with the Pathfinder, if not impossible. So I've got some scenarios here of why the Shape Builder tool will work very well. If I start off with selecting some of my shapes here, two shapes. Using the Pathfinder panel, I can always go in and combine the shapes or unite them together and puts them together into one shape. Okay, pretty much standard stuff. I can go in and I can subtract the front most object using the Pathfinder. I can also go through and leave the resulting overlap of those shapes as well. All stuff that's nice and easy. But here's some things that we can't do with a Pathfinder. What happens if I'd like to just go in and get rid of this shape here or get rid of just this line? So I'm going to walk you through what the Shape Builder tool does and how it works. Now there's some interesting features with the Shape Builder tool. We're going to show you that. So I'm going to grab the Shape Builder tool, Shift M, and we have two modes. We have Add and we have Subtract. The way you get to your Subtract mode is hold down your Option or your Alt key. So this is all it does, is it just simply adds shapes together or subtracts those shapes where they overlap. Quite simple. But what it does is it allows us to pick and choose which sections of the shape we want to go in and merge or subtract. Whereas the Pathfinder is going to do all the objects that you have selected, the Shape Builder tool you can pick and choose. Now the way the Shape Builder tool works is slightly different than the Pathfinder. In the Pathfinder, whatever object I have in front wins. So in this case, the shape with the blue fill, if I merge those together, everything's going to have that blue fill. But with the Shape Builder tool, the Shape Builder tool pays attention to what you have in your toolbar, basically your fill and your stroke. So it may completely ignore your fill and stroke colors here if you have a totally different fill and stroke color selected in your toolbar. If you click on your shape first, that's going to activate the fill and the stroke there. And then if I select my shapes from there, go over to my Shape Builder tool, now you can see that my fill is going to be blue, my stroke is going to be orange, which now when I hover over my shapes, you'll see that this is recognizing this as three separate shapes, okay? The original circle, the circle and back, and then these two together. Now what's cool with this is that I could then go in and I see that mesh that forms and I click and drag over those selected objects and simply merge them all together, all based on those colors that I had selected. I'm going to undo that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this shape over here. It's going to put the purple and the gold as my fill and stroke. Now I'm going to select these colors over here and I'm going to see what this does. Now it's interesting because when I go back in and select this you'll see that it activates this color. But if I activate this color and then shift click here it's going to go ahead and if I use my shape builder tool you'll notice that it will grab those colors. Okay, so if I start over here and I select all these three shapes, and if I select this one first, and then I select these other shapes, it's gonna pick up this color even though I'm not adding those together. So I go to my Shape Builder tool, and I'm going to drag over all of these right there, and you'll see that it picks up that fill color here. It's kind of an interesting scenario, okay? But I can also take these other shapes here use my Shape Builder tool, and if I would like to subtract something, like I would just like to get rid of this shape here, I'm going to hold down my Option or my Alt key and get rid of that. Now you'll notice that it leaves the border around here. If I had used the minus front command in the Pathfinder, it would have taken this out too. So what this did is this left me with two shapes here, and this is a single shape and a single shape over here. It didn't actually knock this teardrop shape out which I like that feature because I want to keep that shape and that's why the Shape Builder tool works awesome. If I select these, grab the Shape Builder tool, hold down my Option or Alt key, get the Subtract, and knock that out, this is what I get. 
And this is cool because now these objects are not grouped together, which is something every time you do this with a pathfinder, it always groups those subsequent shapes together. Here, I now have the ability to move them apart without having to ungroup. Simple stuff. If I have multiple shapes overlapping here, I can use my Shape Builder tool, and I could very easily hold down my Option or Alt key and knock out those areas that I don't want. Benefit of that, I come back in here and none of these are grouped together. So just one simple savings in the steps, but it works pretty good. If I would like all my shapes to be this color, I'm going to select this shape and color first, select all of them, grab my Shape Builder tool, and I'm going to click and drag over all the shapes that I would like to combine. What you don't touch is not going to be included. Since I selected this shape and color first, this color is the one that won. Now these are working with shapes, but what happens if I work with paths? They're not closed. What I'd like to do here is I'd like to take these sets of lines here, and I would like to get rid of the line where it intersects here. Now before you'd have to add pants or you, uh, your uh, path tool and then land uh, points on there and then use your scissor tool or whatever and it becomes a real pain. Select all these open paths, use the shape builder tool. Now I can't merge these shapes together because they're not shapes, okay? This is called the shape builder tool. But you'll notice if I hold down my option or alt key, I can go in here and I can delete that line. You'll notice when I hold down the option or alt, that path highlights in red. And now this is all one path here, but the shape builder is understanding that because it intersects these other areas, this can be taken out separately. That is really cool. So now I no longer have to land points on there with the pen tool or the scissor tool, and they're still separate paths, but this is a really quick way to do crossovers. Now going back to the first example here, if I wanted to get rid of a path around a certain point, I could select both those shapes, use my Shape Builder tool and hold down my Option or Alt. But in this time, I'm not going to hover over the shape. I'm going to hover over the path itself. The path will then show up as that red line, and I delete that. Now what I end up getting is I end up getting two shapes here because I deleted the path from this shape right here. If I go into my Stroke panel and I round the ends, it's going to go ahead and look like I've got two shapes that are filled. Really cool. Now when you have multiple shapes going over, here I just simply use the rotate tool to get a whole set of shapes. I would very quickly and easily like to go ahead and get rid of all these overlapping shapes. Now I could use the pathfinder tool, but since this is all about the shape builder, I'm going to hold down my option key and just simply option click and get rid of all those shapes really fast. Okay. Now I can see the results and go back there and it's like, that looks really cool. Sure, I could have done that with a pathfinder and gone in and used the exclude overlap and gotten that. But here's where this works even better. These shapes, I've now applied a stroke to them. And as I went and I rotated and duplicated them around, each subsequent one was in front of the other until we get to this shape here. Now I can't send this to the back because now this is in the back and this is in the front. So how do I take a portion of this and bring this to the front and bring the others to the back here? Well, what I do is I do something really simple. I'm going to select the first object here and the last object, and I'm going to use my Shape Builder tool, and I'm going to hold down my Option or Alt key, and I'm going to get rid of this shape right there, that overlap. Okay. Now you see when I do that, I get that fill, but really what I'd like to do here is I would just like to go in and I would just like to get rid of this section right here. Now unfortunately I can't do that with just having one shape done. But what I can do is I can go in here and say, you know what I'd like to do? I'm going to go in with my Shape Builder tool and I'd like to just get rid of this line here to make it look like those shapes are overlapping. Okay. And now if I send these to the back here, then I've got this little problem with this particular shape. So what I can do with this is quite unique. I'm going to back up here and I would love to get rid of just this little shape right there. So if I go in with a shape builder tool and go in and I simply merge those together like that, what I've done is I've taken this and I've now created a shape that basically looks like this. Okay. So now this is still on top of everything else, but it just looks like it's wrapping around the whole thing. So that's the cool part 
with the Shape Builder tool. So this gets a little bit more tricky when you're going in and doing that, but really all we wanted to do was to make this look like this section was behind. So all I did was I took the two shapes here with the Shape Builder tool and back up one more time. So I just took that Shape Builder tool and I said, take these two shapes and merge those together. And once I do, it now looks like this is in front. And that's where the Shape Builder tool really, really shines.